breaking. What's OG Uzokalo's interest in Inamdekanu? What is OG Uzokalo's interest in Inamdekanu? IPOP. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Saturday expressed worry over the mission of OG Uzokalo, who recently visited the IPOP leader, Unamdekanu, in the DSS custody and vowed to hold the Senate chief whip responsible if anything happens to his leader. IPOP said, Kalu's unsolicited visit to Kanu was worrisome, adding that the purpose of his visit was suspicious. The group's spokesperson, Ima Powerful, said the mission of the former governor of Abia State is unknown. In a statement he issued, Powerful said, with the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Usokalu to our leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, whenever our leader, Mazi Unamdikanu, is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Usokalu over the visit, and we are worried. We therefore wish to put the world on notice that Oji Uzokalu will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzokalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest he protects. We, we will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The separatist group has also vowed also vowed to hold the Department of State Services, DSS, responsible for any harm on Kanu. The DSS allowed him access against court order, which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyers, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzokalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the extraordinary rendition of Mazi Unamde Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria, the statement concluded. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP on Saturday expressed worry over the mission of Oji Uzokalu, who recently visited the IPOP leader Namdekanu in the DSS custody and vowed to hold the Senate chief whip responsible if anything happens to its leader. IPOP said Kalu's unsolicited visit to Kanu was worrisome, adding that the purpose of his visit was suspicious. The group's spokesperson, Ima Powerful, said the mission of the former governor of Abia State is unknown. In a statement he issued, Powerful said, with the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Uzokalu to our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, whenever our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Uzokalu over the visit and we are worried. We therefore wish to put the world on notice that Oji Uzokalu will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzokalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest he protects. We also we will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The separatist group also vowed to hold the Department of State Services DSS responsible for any arm on Kanu. The DSS allowed him access against the court order which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyers, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzokalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the extraordinary rendition of Mazu Namde Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria, the statement concluded. To my dear listeners, don't you think this is actually truth? We should, we should be worried about Oji Kalu's visit to the detention to visit Mazu Namde Kanu, the IPOB leader. Because for the past few months that he has been abducted back to Nigeria, why is it why is it not that it is it is now that Oji Uzokalu choose to visit Mazunamdu Kanu, the IPOB leader, in the detention of the Department of State Services? What was his mission? If actually, if actually um, what he has actually went there to do is meaningful and reasonable, he would record what they have said and put it in public. But now that this now that this our government are playing political tricks on us. 
they will never they will never do that if it is actually it is a good country why would someone stood up and rescheduled and visited earlier than he has been scheduled it is nonsense it is a country whereby um people who are at the top does not do see us not even does not do see us as if we are nothing they they have no respect for us we do, we don't we don't have value in their face and that is the reason why they have to do what these things they are doing for us i have to comment here one comment well first comment which i have is since finally the stupid lawyer have succeeded in brainwash them with his rubbish accusations because he knew that the only way he can keep getting money from them is to make sure that their brains continue to be caged a message from an Aousa man because he thinks whatever they visit they do give the lawyer money that's the reason why they are not growing i mean the Aousa people they have been they are just been an illegal i see them as an illegal in the illegal current in the in, in nigeria because they have they, they are they are just nothing they reason like goods and they are just animals the way they have been tagged why would you be happy what what is your what is your satisfaction in in, in you seeing a fellow brother in the detention which is not comfortable it is nonsense now i read the news again the indigenous people of biafra ipop on saturday expressed worry over the mission of Oji Uzokalu, who recently visited the ipop leader the Kano in the DSS custody and vowed to hold the Senate chief whip responsible if anything happens to its leader. IPOP said Kalu's unsolicited visit to Kano was worrisome, adding that the purpose of his visit was suspicious. The group's spokesperson, Emma Powerful, said the mission of the former governor of Abia State is unknown. In a statement he issued, Powerful said, with the global movement of and family of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipop under the command and leadership of our great leader Mazi Unamdekanu is raising alarm over the unsolicited visit of Oji Uzokalu to our leader Mazi Unamdekanu whenever our leader Mazi Unamdekanu is detained. We don't know the mission of Oji Uzokalu over the visit and we are worried. We therefore wish to put the word on notice that Oji Uzokalu's B will be held responsible for whatever happens to our leader Mazun Abdekanu in detention. We are not comfortable with Oji Uzo Kalu's suspicious visit to our leader. We don't know whose interest it protect. We will also hold responsible those who permitted him to see our leader in detention. The separatist group also vowed to hold the Department of State Services DSS responsible for any harm on Kanu. The DSS allowed him access against court order, order which all visitors, including Kanu's lawyer, comply with. We all knew that Oji Uzo Kalu's name is among those who bankrolled and sponsored the